What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. I'm getting ready to head out for my next ride in the Festive 500 and I decided I'm gonna take my 1983 Peugeot PH10L. Peugeot, interesting with their naming schemes. You really have to do a lot of research because the name is rarely printed anywhere on the bike. But I made a whole video about this bike and that's I think why a lot of you have found this channel because it's one of the more popular ones. Um, but anyways, uh, in a nutshell, the bike is fairly low end, mid to low end, but it has some interesting things because it came out during like an aero boom in the early 80s. So it has profile tubing and internal cable routing. So really narrow bars, just some interesting stuff for its time that is surprising to find on a low end bike. I ended up picking it up for 30 bucks from a scrapper. A guy at a bike shop told me that he knew a dude who had a tall French bike that I might like. And it definitely is that. Um, I, I build it up, you know, need a new wheel, a new derailleur, uh, didn't have a seat post, a couple things, and then took it on a century ride a week later. And even though I wasn't using Strava at the time, I know I have well over 4,000 miles on this bike. It really uh, became my most used bike for a long time. So this is gonna be a road ride. It rained all night, so I thought this would be a good chance to get on this and then compare it to, uh, I'm so used to riding my gravel bike with its super laid back geometry. It's gonna be really interesting to see how this feels again as I haven't ridden it much maybe just a couple times over the summer so yeah let's take this thing out on the road and do some down tube friction shifting get through this section of crushed limestone on the towpath. So I'm hoping it's not too bad on these 32. So far, so good though. Well, just starting to get that muscle memory back of how much throw the shifters need and exactly where they are. A couple times I reached the top tube and tried to press on my brake levers, but now I'm back in the uh, groove. It used to be nothing. I used to know exactly where to put it into the next gear in the rear. Yes. Looking a little goofy with my rear fender and my arrow wahoo mount on this old bike. Yeah. 
I just got back from my ride, did about 29 miles. I didn't need to get my whole 41 in today because I have my group ride tonight, so I should get at least 20 out on that. But yeah, man, out on this old Peugeot, I was just smiling. Um, it's a whole uh, vibe, as maybe the kids say. I don't know. You look down at that narrow steel tubing and your feet in the tow cages, and you know, it's just like, I feel like Lawrence Fignon, and I just want to pedal fast. So yeah, an absolute blast. Uh, the down tube shifting, after a while you get used to it again. You know, you get it into gear, then if you hear a little noise, you reach down and do a tiny bit of an adjustment. Definitely don't shift as much, but you know, you don't have that many gears to shift into anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The other thing I like about the geometry of this bike that I've always liked is I just feel like I could stay in the saddle when I'm climbing way more. And that's probably just the, you know, more in my head and the feel of the bike, you know, but it really does. I just feel like I could pedal up the hills way faster. Anyways, I'm not gonna film tonight because it's gonna be dark by the time I even leave here at the studio, but I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow's ride. Oh wait, click right here if you wanna see the video all about the bike I was just riding. The sound. The smoking sound.